Nestled in the Sumatran jungle is a blue lake, with no access by road and the only way to get there is to hike. With wet season on the horizon and tigers roaming the forest, I set out to find the blue lake, Danau Kachul. Good morning from Lempore village in the middle of Sumatra. We are currently in the highlands and over the next four days, we're gonna be hiking through the jungle. I'm actually joined with two special guests who you've never met before. Hi, I'm Alex, I'm Joel's brother. And I'm Emily, Joel's sister. So right now we're in the valley and either side of us is the thick jungle and that's where we can find the tigers, all the crazy things and eventually the blue lake, which we'll be seeing at the end of the four days. We have just been dropped off by the car and we are now alone, just about to enter Kerachini National Park. This is where we can see tigers, animals, insects, which I've never seen before. This is deeper than I've ever been. A little bit nervous because we're gonna be out here alone, but obviously with our guides. So this is our guide, Pin. And Hi. He's, and he's gonna be taking us through the jungle for the next four days. So yeah. if anything happens to us, it's on this guy. <laughs> I'm joking, I'm joking. And then we have our two porters who are carrying all our stuff, <laughs> Jerry and Boy. <laughs> Hello. So you've got camera traps set up yeah. and you see tigers every three days on the camera traps. Yeah. So even if we don't see a tiger, which is not very likely, they are definitely around this area. And apparently on the second day, when we're much deeper into the jungle, that's when we might be surrounded by tigers, even though we can't see them. Obviously the tiger is the most famous animal around this area, but there are loads of other animals like tapirs, potentially sightings of bears, loads of monkeys, insects. Oh, what have you found? Uh, blueberry. Blueberry. Oh, they look spiky. Oh, it's good. Mm. Is it? it? Tastes like blueberry, yeah. They're so small, look at them. They're kind of hairy though. Mmm, sweet. He's gonna get water out of bamboo. Whoa! Yeah. What? Joel, try it. That's crazy. Whoa! You can't get from here, Joel. You wanna try? Yes, this, please. This is the most natural water you can get. It's so good. So fresh, isn't it? That's crazy. <laughs> That's very cool. So basically, I'm carrying a litre of water and it turns out I don't even need to be carrying that because we could just get it out the bamboo. There's loads of bamboo around here. Yes, there must be. Oh, look, you can see someone put a straw in here ages ago. This has to be the biggest tree I've ever it's seen. Not, oh, it's like a collection of trees. Oh, yeah, it's not just one big one, but this one's massive. Look at that thing. To get a perspective of how oh, huge this tree is, Emily's in the middle of it. Look at this. And a massive tree. <laughs> look at Jerry oh, go. Oh, it's Tarzan oh, in the jungle. Oh, <laughs> oh, Look at that, that's the biggest centipede or millipede? I don't know. One, One of them so that I've ever know. seen. Is it poisonous? No, no, no. Okay, let's stroke him then. Yeah. Ooh. It has just started to rain and it is getting heavier very quickly. So we're gonna stop here and have some lunch. But what we didn't know is that the guys actually brought a little shelter with us. So look at this little tarpaulin we've got and we can shelter from the rain. Not bad, is it? Right. <laughs> I kind of just assumed we would get wet, but having this is gonna be an absolute treat, although I'm not sure how much rain it can take. Look, so you can see here already, there's a little puddle here and the water's coming through. Let me just push that off. Uh, All right, we're on pushing duty. <laughs> <laughs> Look, they've also set up another one for them. That's amazing. The rain has eased a little bit and now we are heading back on the hike. I think we have about four kilometers to go until we get to where we're camping tonight. Alex has decided to wear this big old poncho cape. He looks a bit like a superhero, don't ya? It's definitely getting thicker now. Okay, we're now deep in the jungle. The tigers could be anywhere. Apparently there is more rain on the way. We've just heard a little bit of thunder. And I think you can kind of see it on the mountains in the distance, kind of through the trees. One of the things we have to be really careful about here is leeches, because apparently there's lots of leeches here, especially after it rains or near water sources. I think we have just arrived at a river. It sounds so loud. It must be rampaging after all that rain we had. Pretty fast, isn't it? 
usually we have to cross the river here but because it is so fast flowing we're going to try and make camp a bit further up so we don't have to cross the river right now here we are because it is very wet and the river is gushing we are camping here tonight on the other side of the river to where you would usually camp is it good younger like um coconut? coconut water oh yeah isn't it yeah you want to try some <laughs> i'm not sure it looked milky and a bit horrible <laughs> did you get that on camera yeah. <laughs> what do i do ah it's biting yeah. what do i do like this oh. you ready yep oh it didn't hurt <laughs> so this was the one on my stomach yeah. That was so odd, it felt like it almost had stomach cramps. I was like, what is that on my stomach? And I looked and it was a leech. And I literally was just talking about leeches a few minutes ago. So in total, I've just had four leeches on me. I had one on my sock, two on like my belly, one on my t-shirt. These guys haven't had any yet. You're not having any fun, are you? Yeah, you got me paranoid though. <laughs> So I think the rain is coming again, but the guys have actually just set up our camp. So this is our tent. Look at this. This is incredible with a good old shelter here and then our tent in here. Whilst it rains out there in the jungle, I wanted to stop and share with you a little travel hack which I've used for the last couple of years. Now, obviously out there in the rainforest, we have no Wi-Fi, but if I had a Sally eSIM, I'd be able to make those important WhatsApp messages to Amelia and my family to keep them updated on our trip. Today's video sponsor is Sally, who are a new eSIM service app who have eSIM plans in over 150 countries. Have you ever been in that new country where you have no data, you don't speak the language, and you have people shouting taxi at you everywhere? Well, an eSIM is going to solve all those problems by easily ordering a Grab or an Uber using your new data. Unlike when I first began traveling, there is no need to go on that long search for a physical SIM card at the airport. And you can have your eSIM ready to go as soon as you land in a new country, and you'll be able to stay connected throughout your whole trip. Using a Sadie eSIM will save you huge roaming fees, and you'll still be able to use your original number for receiving messages. With the discount code JOELFRIEND, you can get a one gigabyte data plan for free. Yes, completely free. It's very simple to get started with Sailey. All you have to do is buy a plan, install the eSIM and activate the plan and you're good to go. Go to sailey.com slash joelfriend and choose the one gigabyte Sailey data plan and enter the coupon code joelfriend to get it for free. Now let's get back to the depths of the Sumatran rainforest. It's been raining a lot, so we've retreated to in the tent and we've managed to fit the three of us in here and we're about to play some cards. And the guide has also made us some tea. Pretty nice. It's very cramped though, isn't it, guys? Yeah. <laughs> right, a few biscuits, tea, cards. Tea and biscuits. See you in a bit. I know we're English. The rain has kind of eased a little bit. We've had dinner. And obviously you're probably wondering, how do we get water out here? So what we're kind of doing is filling it up from the river over there, which looks quite like chocolate at the moment because it's so muddy. And they boiled it and now they've put it in here, but honestly, it doesn't look a very good color. And it smells like a river, like a dirty river. Good morning guys from the middle of the Sumatran rainforest. Luckily after the evening we didn't get too much rain so I actually slept pretty well for being here in the jungle. Obviously I woke up quite a few times as well. But have a look at the river this morning. It is so much clearer than last night when it was like that chocolate colour. Look how clear the water is compared to yesterday. Literally 12 hour difference and it looks like a crystal clear water. So drinking this I think will be a lot safer than what we were drinking last night. Good morning, Emily. How did you sleep last night? I slept all right. Oh, Jerry's got our breakfast. <laughs> Look at this mixture of food we've got. I was not quite expecting that in the jungle. We've got some egg, some little crispy things, peanut sauce, which is kind of what comes with gado gado, and then I think some cabbage or something. Pretty good. Now we've finished breakfast, we've been packing up, and now we're gonna start the hike for today. So I think we've got about a 10 or 12 kilometer hike today. And the first thing is crossing this river. And because it is a lot shallower right now, it's gonna be a lot easier to cross than last night. So Emily and Alex are going across first. Don't slip, it gets a lot deeper and faster the other side. 
You both look very hunched over. <laughs> Shoes off and let's go and cross this river. Alex made it! <laughs> Emily struggling a little bit. Are you alright? No. No? Okay. I want to go on that rock. <laughs> <laughs> That's my rock. I made it! No camera equipment got wet. This is the way up now, just straight through these trees and onto the deeper part of the jungle. This is pretty intense. Now we're on to day two, we are heading far deeper into the rainforest and this is exactly where the tigers could be. Even though we don't see them, the likelihood is they can see us and because they are solo creatures and they don't really want to come into contact with us. Once again, it's time for a bit of bamboo water. So this is a mangosteen tree. So if you cut the bark, it smells like mango, but the fruit doesn't really taste like mango. It tastes like a sour kind of citrus fruit. It really smells like mango. On the tree, Jerry has just spotted some bear scratches because there's actually sun bears here. They're not like the massive grizzlies, but they're still like the size of a human. Well, I came up here. Right here? Yeah, this is a bamboo and a video. Yeah? Yeah, they're here. What? Wow. That's pretty crazy. Is this where we have lunch? Nice. Yeah, same. After a quick stop having some lunch, we are now gonna head off further up the hill. So right now we're actually 1,430 meters. So we're kind of in like a cloud forest. And as you can see, the cloud above us has started to come through. And this is exactly where we could see the Sumatran tiger. But before we go on and hopefully see something or see some marks, please go down there and hit the subscribe button for more epic travel adventures like this. Ready for the afternoon trek out? Yeah. The cloud we were in has brought rain. Alex is all ponchoed up, ready. Oh, I am so soggy, wet to the bone. Literally all the way to my skin is wet now because the rain jacket just can't take this amount of rain. I think we've still got about two hours till we get to camp. This is what makes the rainforest so relentless. Just constant rain we've had in the last couple of days and it's not even proper wet season yet. Okay, we make camp here. We finally made it, we've got to make the shelter. We've had so many leeches all over us. Okay. Oh. Oh. Ah. How are you feeling after the hike? Wet. Great. <laughs> scorpion! Yeah. You brought the scorpion? Yeah. yeah. We, um, we've got dinner. Why? Because poison? Because poisonous? Why? Yeah. Dangerous? Yeah, I did So you have to capture it. Nice to meet you. Little bear. It is several hours later now. The rain has finally stopped. We've had dinner and we are now in our tents ready to go to sleep. Emily's in the tent next to us. Hello Emily. Hello. And Alex is in here with me. I'll see you in the morning. Good morning guys, it is so good to feel some sun on my face right now, see a bit of a blue sky and hopefully we have a bit of a drier day. Our stuff is soaking from last night. Alex has resulted to washing his clothes as the only way to dry things because we really only do have patches of sun where we're drying our clothes. We're a little bit of an idiot and we only brought one pair of trousers and as soon as it rains you get absolutely soaked as you saw yesterday. So if you are doing something like this, at least bring two pairs. As you would have known, the shoes yesterday were probably one of the wettest parts of our body. But this is my insole, look at this. That's just the insole of my shoe. We have packed up all our stuff and we are wearing our horrible soaking clothes, but hopefully with the sun and as we walk, they will dry off a little bit. Today we are heading to the Blue Lake, one of the clearest, bluest lakes probably in the world, nestled right in the Sumatran rainforest. We started heading down the hill now and it is incredibly steep. So we've got to be really careful because of the rain yesterday, obviously it's very slippy. Oh, it's so slippy. Is it clay? Is that what it is? Oh! Throw away. 
We have just stopped off for some lunch. This is our little lunch spot. Look at this. That's just a... in the forest. And Jerry is cooking up some of our food. Hello. What have we got? Noodle pancake. Yeah. There you go. The food we've had out here in the jungle has been really good. And I've never had a noodle pancake before. So quite interested to try this out. So we have some soto, some soup, and some rice noodles, and then a noodle pancake. It smells amazing, especially out here in the jungle. Whoa, so after three days of hiking, we have finally reached the Blue Lake, the Danau Cacho, in the middle of the Sumatran rainforest. What? <laughs> I don't think video does it justice for how blue that is. That is crazy. That is... What? Wow. That wow. is that is a deaf... That's a blue lake. Viru Sakali. Get it. my swimmers on. <laughs> Let's go. It's time we go in the lake. We just have to climb down without slipping because it's quite a slippy way down. And this lake... It honestly looks like something out of a Disney movie or something. You can't understand actually how blue and clear it is. If you remember like last year, we actually went to a similar one in Sulawesi, but I feel like this could be bluer. <laughs> Emily, you okay? Yeah. I was just saying how slippy it was. Is it cold? Yeah. Oh dear. It's so cold it makes you need a wave. What? You know what I mean? No. That is a thing. In this lake, you can actually jump off this tree. So Alex is gonna go, go give it a go because it is so deep down there. Must go like five, 10 meters down. Alex is walking along the trunk. Don't fall in. That was so good. <laughs> This has got to be one of the most beautiful isolated places on the planet. Like, look at this place. And we are the only ones camping here in the middle of the rainforest. <laughs> I've come down to the other side of the lake and look at it from this angle. It looks even more blue. Now, I think the color of the water is kind of reflects the sky, but it's also the stone underneath. So I think the stone is quite white or blue and something in the minerals kind of makes it super blue and makes this incredibly magical color. I don't know if you can see, but there are a few like fishes in here. Some of them are like quite big, like bigger than my hand, but there's also some small ones as well. I don't know how they got here though, because we're just in the middle of the jungle. It's not like a proper flowing river. I'm gonna end the video here and have a chilled evening. Hopefully we're gonna have a bonfire and just have a final night in the jungle and hopefully no more rain. Thank you so much for watching this video and if you haven't already, go down there and hit the subscribe button and we'll see you in the next video.